What is going on guys? Retax message here. Hope everyone today got a brand new video for you guys. Today we have a brand new update for Marvel Realm of Champions 0.2.0. We were at 0.1.1. We're at 0.2 now guys. So we have a lot of stuff going on here. All right. A whole lot of stuff. Gear updates, champion updates, a little bit of everything. Let's go over it very quickly for you guys. So Updating the initial progression through the brackets and slowing down the pacing of warrior tier. This change will allow players to progress quickly through initial tiers and get comfortable with the game before we take the training wheels off in warrior tier and allows players skills to grow. This will also affect item drops to progress players past common gear quickly and make the boxes in the store more valuable. I just did a video on the crates. You guys can go ahead and check that out if you want to. To prepare for a larger player base, we are making some changes to gold to maintain its stability, value, and reduce the overall inflation of gold from beta to worldwide launch. The key changes, slight reduction in gold rewards for completing content, slight reduction in some gold costs, ranking up gear, etc. These changes will have minimal impact on players in the early game and will help create a much healthier gold economy as players begin to progress past the warrior tier. The two changes above will go live shortly after 0.2.2 is live, so keep an eye on the game for these changes. Now here's the stuff we kind of care about a little bit more than this gold. You know, this is all important stuff, but this is what we care about. Improved tutorial, we have made significant improvements to the tutorial and reduced its length by 50%. If you are midway through the tutorial and update to point 0.2, you'll have to restart the tutorial. Contextual tutorials. They added some contextual tutorials for things like objectives and leveling up your champions to better guide new players. Idle detection players who are now playing the game for a significant portion of the match will no longer receive rewards. Interesting. New stronghold map, the Necropolis, Kingdom of Wakanda. The Necropolis is one of Wakanda's most sacred places. Hit the row and accessible, I completely butchered that, by those outside the Wakandan royal family. Basically, guys, we got a brand new stronghold map, which is the co-op. All right, guys, champion updates. Web Warrior, light attack, improved melee, light attack damage. Do you want to make Web Warrior more efficient or more effective, sorry, in short fights while in close range without affecting his sustained damage output at longer range? Increased attack power, 22 to 26%. 18, 26%, 22%. It was 22, it's at 26 now. Uh, actually, I don't know the ratio what that exactly means it's at 26 percent okay that's what we're gonna go with sorcerer supreme divine conduit increase the cooldown duration of divine conduit we want to create more opportunities for opponents to overcome sorcerer supreme's healing over time by increasing the time between specials they added two seconds for the cooldown light of nivalon or nivalon to better bring sorcerer supreme in line as realm's premier support character we increase the cooldown another huge nerf guys basically for sorcerer supreme guys that, that's just it. I'm not going to go over these. You guys can go ahead and read that because it's just nerfs, honestly, for that. Black Panther is a vibranium assassin to highlight her style of play, dashing and destroying an enemy. We removed the area effect component of her heavy attack to keep her damage focused on a single target. Ew, big yikes for me. That's a big yikes. Another nerf there. Hulk, Gamma Hammer, heavy attack. Uh, for such a big champion with an even bigger weapon, Hulks have been able to easily close gaps on opponents to take them out. Reducing area of effect, another nerf, guys. Yay! Heavy attacks that provide additional mobility deal less damage, 84 to 66%. The uh, distribution of damage between hit events, 30, 70 is now 38, 62. Adjust area of effect, placement, and size. Special 3 ultimate, adjusted ult damage to give Hulk an easy way to break through enemy defenses. Increased attack power. Okay, 44 to 46%. That's a good one. I like it. Hulk gauntlets, heavy attack. With amount of CC that gauntlet hulks possess, we're giving the heavy attack the same treatment as Gamma Hammer by reducing area of effect from heavy attacks that give significant dashes. Heavy attacks that provide additional mobility deal less damage, 68 to 42%. Wow! Big booty. Special 1, adjusted cooldown to match Hulk's Gamma Hammer special one cooldown duration iron legionnaire lasers damage sources to make the champion feel more consistent accomplishing this by reducing effectiveness of the light attack and making minor tweaks light attack 18 to 15 percent heavy attack increased 44 to 46 laser volley 50 to 48 and uni beam 428 to 420 yikes another little nerf here gear enhancements updates bleed resist 
low currents of bleed damage in the current roster of champions, removing bleed resist from the enhancements, which doesn't really matter, honestly. It's just, you know, one trait that, you know, it's, it's not crazy important, honestly, in my eyes, but whatever. Spear and Orb Power, Black Panther Spear and Sorcerer Spear's or Special Attack Bonuses will now generate on rare or higher gear pieces. This brings these alternate weapons to, to par with their default weapons. Special Power 2 and 3 Power Bonuses can generate on, el on eligible Orb and Spear weapons. And a whole bunch of bug fixes and improvements that I'm not going to go over. You guys go ahead and pause this if you want to and read that over. But yeah guys, 0.2 point zero is out currently i think it's out it should be out let me see yeah the build is here yep i will be showing you guys maybe how to update it if i can actually update it myself but yeah that's gonna wrap up this video if it was helpful drop a like i'm out guys have a wonderful day peace